So that's kind of all those spots you don't want at the lake right there. Oh, oh, I even got a sticker decal thingy, whatever you want to call it. This vacuum line right here needs to be replaced. You can see how it's kind of cruddy looking. That's where it broke. So I'll probably peel this back just a little bit further. Unfortunately, I can't replace the whole thing. Well, I'm not going to replace the whole thing because it goes down into the heater box down in there. I got clear, instead of just getting the, the, the stuff at the parts store, it's black. I got clear. For that i thought i was getting white and well oh well it'll work so that goes down in there i have my boot from that so i also have a piece of vacuum hose right here uh, that looks a little little crummy i might uh i probably just grab that out of the old box i'll see if i got some new on there what i'm going to do i'll put ptfe sealant on the um the hose and then slide that tube over there so i know it has a good bond and then you know just make a little splice in there so those two can join together actually i might have some of these laying around the actual boots laying around so i'll double check that first but that's what i'll do to get that hooked up so super simple there the other one and i actually got the red is what's happened here is this red line here has broke and if it doesn't have that little bevel on the end of it then it doesn't go in this boot see how it's broke right there and it's stuck in there so that's why this isn't attached and it's bypassed is because there, there's nowhere to join those two together right so i need to chase that down yeah this little bevel right there so i've got some red i'm going to put the little bevel in there and try to get that piece out and plug that back in there and then get this plug back in where it belongs up there and then chase that all the way down to where it ends and uh that'll be replaced and that's vacuum lines right there i think this one goes to the fuel pressure regulator down there so this is just a a little short run right to there okay got that done took me about 20 minutes let's see why it took me so long because it shouldn't have taken that long Here's a line that I put on there for the red line, and I was trying to put a bevel on there, like what we see, something like that, or that second one down there, kind of like a fuel line, and that resulted in pretty much nothing. It just, it just kind of melts instead of getting soft and pliable to where you can permanently deflect it, right? Like if you saw that PVC pipe video I did, how to bend that, this just doesn't it just doesn't bend. Uh, so I spent a little bit of time messing around with that with my, um, have my flaring tool that didn't work. So I used a, used a screw. I did get a little bit of a bevel in there, but it really didn't work all that great. Now here's one of the problems I had is you see, it's not supposed to have that line on there and it's broke there. That's going to the fuel pressure regulator. Actually, that's one of the pieces there. So that thing's been patched a couple few times. So this is a good, like I said, I put the heat gun on there. It's definitely heat resistant. Let's go see what the truck side looks like. Okay, truck side, I got that little piece bent back down where it belongs in the boot on there. So that's where I had to put the bevel so it goes in there good. 
and it goes all the way down to the fuel pressure regulator right there using all the factory stuff looks pretty good looks like a, a good stock replacement piece there the other one over here let me get down for here so I cut it back just a little bit so that's why there's the new tape on there uh, did a little zip tie underneath to kind of hold it because I'm not that was all one one piece going around there and I put a splice there so I want to make sure that holds on good also put some convoluted tubing over that hose um, that's just what I had laying around you can use a little bit smaller piece but it covers it to keep the same thing from happening again which is just rotting and it goes all the way up back to this which is real fun to try to get your hand down in there you know because they gave you know it's a big pickup and they gave you so much room because you know it's a pickup and you have room to work right thanks Ford well hello there probably wondering why I'm underneath the truck because <laughs> I'm working on something so I moved the truck over here. As you can see, I'm in the grassy area, not on the gravel area, swatting mosquitoes. And I smelled fuel. So I come over here and looked underneath just to make sure that fuel filter I put on, nothing weird went wrong and that wasn't it. The front tank, which would sit up in here, has been removed. And this is the return line and it's just capped off and that's what was leaking and this is also the fuel pump line right here so i don't like that the good thing is the connectors are here i was actually <laughs> trying to figure out how to fix that and uh i was monday night i went out went down to man church and uh was talking to a mechanic there and he suggested well a couple things but one of the ideas i like is take the old fuel filter and see if i can hook that together right with that old fuel filter and then that's the same connections there and it'll block that off essentially um, or you know whatever i'm not too worried about getting fuel flow because this return line the reason why it's getting gas running to it is because if we look all the way down here it splits so it just needs more resistance in it than it going into the tank and it's going to want to flow that direction trying still trying to get that mosquito that's trying to eat me so that's what I'm going to do is get these off. Uh, there's fuel in this line. It's going to be messy. So I'm not going to record that. We'll just kind of see what we got right now. And I'll show you what I do afterwards right there. It's, this is going to be two hands on. Just I, I expect this to be <laughs> not real pretty. But you never know. Okay. Got the filter in that one. Got that one out finally. The dirty one. The one that I thought was going to take forever to do, come out in less than a minute. The other, well, 29 minutes or so, I've been fighting this one here. So let's look at what's going on behind there. So we got the fuel line that goes in there, right? And you see that flange? The other side of that, if I can get a shot on it, if we look up in there, you see fingers one of them right there this one has three it's kind of hard to get the shot adjust lighting readjust lighting there we go so you can see that right in there there's a flange there's three of them i don't know if we can see all three in there and it's like some spring steel in there and what it is those bend out right get my piece so those bend out, and I drop it. This is hard to do. So they bend out whenever this pops in, they bend out and keep it from coming out, right? I'm not gonna put that back in there because I might not ever get the thing out. So what I had to do was I used all my normal methods of hosing it out with the, the cleaner and keep them doing that. I even took my little pick and a little screwdriver and kind of bent them in a little bit and tried that. And finally, I had to just get my screwdriver here and really aggressively push those in. And I think what's happened is, because it kind of come out, the, the little 
fuel line hoo yon thing just kind of set in. I didn't feel a move. So I'll have to come back with my pick and pull them up just a little bit because I might have really been on the end to try to get this thing out. Uh, I might go ahead and do another hose in there. Actually, that I think these things are replaceable. I think they can pull out or something. They're replaceable. But anyways, I'm not going to mess with that. Okay. That was a failure. Those aren't the same size. I thought they were the same size. That's why I decided to do this. Um, so that was pretty much all for not messing with this. So literally... I needed to do nothing to this, and actually nothing to this. I just needed to redo this idea here and make that a little better. <laughs> I think they make the little Huyon plugs in there, so I might investigate that and see if I can get, get something in there and plug that off. Um, I'm not going to try to put that in there. I may try to get another uh, one of the little Huyon things, the, the retainer clips, as well while i look for that so yeah that was pretty much 35 40 minutes messing with this yeah for, for nothing nothing now i have a fuel filter on there instead of this on there and that's about all i got accomplished in 40 minutes okay i've got some parts to finish up the fuel system so well somewhat more <laughs> better parts however you want to put it so this is the evil energy is where i got this from amazon they probably got a store or something so this is the quick disconnect to an an fitting and then i just got the an cap on there and for a little extra protect protection to make sure it stays on i got the thread sealant so that's kind of all those spots you don't want it to leak right there oh oh hey even got a sticker decal Thank you. Whatever you want to call them. Oh, okay, now there's one other thing that I got is this little switch here that goes up on a master cylinder is the, uh, what is it, the cruise control switch. I wanted to call it a brake switch. It's the cruise control switch. It's kind of a generic design, so they come, it comes with a pigtail. So all together, if I don't thumbs it up over here, uh, this was $28 to get this replacement. All of this together was about 20 bucks for these. Now, they did make little block-offs. Another company did where it had just a stub here, and it's just blocked off so you can push it in there. But they were like 22 bucks each. So, got pretty much all of that for the price of one of those. Okay, I'm going to get this thrown on. Okay. There they are. Of course, I'm going to tidy them up, but once I tidy them up, you might not be able to see them. Super clean, went in exactly how it was in my head, which is kind of rare sometimes, so super, super easy. Um, I'd say 15 minute job getting them out of the package and uh, sealing them up and then get them on. Okay, here's the old part. You can see how it's all been leaking brake fluid. It goes right there. The nut for it is right there. Mine's a 9 16 That one right there is a uh, 7 8 And just put it on right quick. Done. Uh, I may clean this up. I may not. I don't know. So, but, I mean, it took me longer to figure out what this part was called and where to get it than to change it. I mean, it's just... You just have a little bucket or rag or something. It really didn't even leak all that much fluid. It seeped a little and that's it. Just, just change it. Super easy. All right. I just washed the truck. 20 minutes. Got it done. Just a quick, quick wash. I know it's going to need a lot more. Uh, we're dry there. The hood's still wet. Uh, we're dry there. This fender door and hood... I was looking at doing some paint correction on it, but I think that is the Duplicolor um, lacquer paint. That's what I think that is. Just by the way it reacts, and it's kind of chalky. Uh, but anyways, so we can actually see a bit of a sheen on the old factory acrylic enamel. 
and i don't know what this stuff is on here this red stuff but it didn't it's not wanting to come off so i got to come up with an idea on that there's it's got that just kind of all over the truck i don't know what happened there but are looking better that's a once over it's it's going to need more i did not do any detailing per se like you know cleaning the bumper off good and cleaning the tires and wheels and glass and all that uh, that'll come at a later date but that's just a quick rundown and actually it's this is pretty dry actually so it, it come out this side looks pretty good so this is the side to take pictures of right you know it's windy out here try to block a little wind there i'll clean the bed so it's not so nasty looking too in there now that wind's picking up sorry about that but yeah that's what we got 20 minutes work looking pretty good yeah that i did the mcguire's gold class and it's just not it's no kind of be nothing on the hood part so yeah i don't know how much i can do with that this you can tell it's absorbing stuff because there's a handprint that didn't oily handprint that didn't come off and you just see some stuff down in here that just i'm afraid to do much with it because it looks real thin but anyways let's get out of the wind so i think looks overall a lot better doesn't look as good as the truck there does with the exact same pretty much thing that i did i did do the wheels well i did do the tires so i'm going to be using i'm going to be doing the tires the same thing the tire cleaner and all that when we get ready those wheels over there i want to get those changed yeah i need to do the dark too so i think that's all i'm going to do today on that uh you hear the mowers going i did my mowing yesterday didn't do my weed eating so i need to go through some uh some pants on because i don't like getting the weed weeds all over my legs need to do that and uh get my weed eating done and this is still in the middle of the work week so by the time i get done with that it might be time to uh relax right <laughs>